hello guys welcome to the channel i hope you are all doing great so guys uh who others one the case chiefs coach has revealed the team there are still players there are still more players that are going to be signed of course that's when they have identified more players that they want to sign so yeah let's see what case chiefs will do come end of the season they've already signed the likes of the dozen tanzania the likes of Kevin Simango and Udi Joko. So we'll see what else are they going to get. Uti, we have identified more players. We have identified players and we will keep trying. We will keep on trying our level best to bring in players that we think will add value to the club and to help us to challenge for titles. And yes, at the moment, I am not at liberty to divulge any information until the club makes that announcement. So, Niaz is well again and Buffett too. Chiefs is looking to make some big moves. Obviously, they want to compete for Champions League. They want to win trophies. It's been some time now. And Atazwane is that coach, you know. I see that they've given him that platform to, 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 to identify and take to choose players that he wants. You see him kind of coming to Chiefs with eight new players. He signs an extra Saile. And now there's like three players that are coming at the end of the season. And I'm sure they're still going to sign more. So this is a good move for the Kosi Nation. On the other hand, they give a fair to, as you know, KZ Chiefs will take on Stellan Push FC. The last game they played, if I'm not mistaken, it ended as 3-1. If I'm not mistaken. But I remember that's the game that Bimenyemana scored a brace. You know, so uh, the Stellan Bosch, uh, you know, center back over Sibia Uti, they are eager to learn, you know, whether the recent FIFA break has killed their rim as they resume against KZ Chiefs. And obviously, they want to beat KZ Chiefs over the weekend. Now, we know Stellan Bosch, they come from a very good, uh, you know, they have a momentum. They, they, they played against Sundowns, they drew, and then there was the next match that they scored like 6-3. Six, six, if I remember well, so they've been doing well. Still in Bosch and I'll catch Steve Parker. I think now he's starting to come back. You know, his team was not doing well, but now it looks like finally it's clicking. Uvusi, yes, Sibia, Uzi, we have been good in, we have been in good form uh, of late, so we do not want to lose that momentum. Hopefully, the FIFA break did not kill our rhythm. The only way to find out is to beat Kaiser Chiefs. If we beat them, you know, we'll know our momentum is still intact. To us, this game is very important to win because uh, more than anything, we want to solidify uh, our place in the top eight. We use the FIFA break mostly for ball work training sessions, trying to improve on keeping the ball and recycling it when we lost it. Remember, we also had five players away with the under-23 national team, so we couldn't really focus on trying to get combinations. This is what Vosi Sibia is saying, Mafei too. So, guess what? We are showing up and good. Yeah, before the FIFA break, definitely they were they were in good form, and they would love to test and see what are they still in that form, and they want to do it against KZ Chiefs. So on Saturday at half past five, uh, KZ Chiefs will take on Stellan Bosch FC, and a lot is at stake. KZ Chiefs is looking to get to that position too. Stellan Bosch is looking to secure a spot in the top eight. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, Mamelodi Sundowns coaches responded to the reports that are suggesting Uti El Ali is interested in his services. Godwage, the interesting part about this is that, again, Coach Roland Mukwena says he is not interested in joining El Ali. He says he loves Sundowns too much. He says, I do not follow uh, social media or the media. I focus on my team and I try to make the fans happy. He goes further to say, I am very happy in this club and the support I receive from the club president, the fans and the players. I enjoy my time here at Sundowns. I love the club very much and this is the most important thing for me. Guys, Naizuageleondo. It's not the first time Roland Mukwena answers to reports that are suggesting that there are teams that want him up abroad and he, he's going to leave. He says he's happy at Sundowns. Even now with regards to El Ali, he says, no, I'm happy, you know, with Masandawana. I am not interested in leaving. I'm happy with the club president. I'm happy with the fans. I'm happy with the players. So he said on the Malab on program hosted by Saif Zahir via uh, On Time Sport. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a Sandawana, Ah, don't worry. Uh, Roland Mukwena is pretty much uh, loyal to the team, is happy with the team, and he still wants to, you know, to keep developing it.